After watching so many videos about whether weed is good or bad for you, I noticed there's a trend about focusing on the exception. And what do I mean by the exception? Which usually the exception is something that's unusual or not the norm. Well, the info always focuses on the benefits of weed that uh, it can do for people with serious illness and diseases and whether it should be legalized for medicinal use. And I, I 100% agree that cannabis can be a better alternative of medicine than what is given to us by pharmacia. But that is not what I want this channel to focus on. I have been in company of many weed smokers in my lifetime and none of them have had an illness or disease. Uh, while most documentaries focus on the case of the cases that pull our heartstrings, is that really the norm? Like I remember a video that showcased a child that had a tumor growing in her skull and her mom uh, said weed or marijuana was the only medicine that seemed to work for her. And I, I really can imagine that being my child in that position. And if that was my child in that position, I wouldn't think two seconds about giving her some weed to relieve her any kind of pain that she was going through. I totally get that. But while advocators tend to focus on those stories, they don't make up the majority of people who use cannabis on a daily basis. Most people who use weed, whether they vape or they smoke, are doing it because they just like the feeling of being high. And they'll get addicted to that feeling or the actual ritual of it. I really do hate when people say, um, who gets addicted to weed? And that's really a, a stupid thing to say is humans can be addicted to anything, especially in our self-gratifying society that we live in now. But the most irritating part is that we like to justify the addiction with the exception. Just like the case of abortion, which has been an ongoing debate for many years about whether it should be legalized or not, which I'm, I'm personally sick of. But, you know, if you want to go that route, do it. If your state does not offer it, drive 50 or 100 miles to the next state and do it. Uh, but let's not justify our decision on the exception. The exception is that if you are raped or you have a fetus that is significantly deformed, you know, abortion should be open to you, which I, you know, I can understand that. But I've known more than a few women in my life personally that have gotten these and neither one of the women were raped or had a deformed fetus. They just got the abortion because they made a bad mistake, bad decision, uh, a little bit too loose. You get my point. Uh, but the majority of them have done this, like I said, because of a mistake or a poor choice or an unwillingness to accept responsibility. Let's just say what it is. So just like we people say, oh, it, it cures cancer. But do you have cancer or do you just like to get high? And for some people, we do come to a point where we know it's not beneficial for us to continue to use cannabis, but we find it hard to stop. Again, that's why I hear people say, how can you be addicted to weed? Just stop. Well, I mean, people are, are addicted to, like, say, anything with this exercise or, or whatever. But in many states where weed is being legalized for recreational use, this problem is growing at a faster and more rapid rate. And again, this channel was not created to bash weed itself or deny the medicinal benefits of weed. But for those to recognize that they have addictive qualities and has gravitated towards weed and use it to cope with life. It starts by not justifying by factors that are not really exclusive to us. And we have to admit that we actually have a problem. Please don't be deceived by the exception, but rather make yourself the exception. Your future self will thank you. Thank you.